Okay, this is a uh, lunch app, and this is my presentation, my contribution to what Ahmed and Michael have already done. I will be discussing operation scenarios for lunch app. I will throw, show three different operation scenarios, the login scenario, the registration scenario, and the main scenario. Under the main scenario, I have creating a group, creating a vote, uh, Closing the app, creating a group and creating a vote could actually be their own scenarios, but I just made the main scenario just to kind of show the, the workflow. Um, I didn't make it with the whole, any errors or anything. I did that under login and registration. So I'm just using it to give you an idea of how the app works from beginning to end. Uh, taste preferences screen. I will reference the taste preferences screen. Um, on two of the scenarios. So I just wanted you to get an idea of what it looked like. So that's, um, that's what it looks like, just so you have it in your mind. All right, the login scenario. Here's the login screen that will be on the app. And uh, we'll just go through this real fast. Uh, you can read it if you'd like, uh, or uh, just listen to what I'm saying. So step one, the user starts the app. Uh, step two, uh, the program displays the login screen. Uh, the user at step three enters information. He enters his password, but he does not enter his email address. Then at step four, the program issues an alert on the screen for the missing email address. The user at step five then enters an email address, but unfortunately it's a malformed email address. So step six, issue the program issues another alert on the screen for the malformed email address. Uh, step seven, the user enters his email finally correctly, uh, as long as the pass, as long uh, as well as the password, which I put in step three. And at step eight, the program displays the taste screen. Uh, the step nine, the user enters information. He, he tries to get past the preferences screen without entering any preferences. Uh, so at step 10, the program issues an alert to see if they want to continue with no preferences. At step 11, uh, the user cancels this out and says not to proceed. Uh, at step 12, the program displays the taste screen again. And at step 13, the user enters information, his preferences using the radio switches. And then he, um, the program displays an alert confirming his preferences. At uh, step 15, uh, the user confirms his preferences. And at step 16, the program displays the main screen. And we exit from this scenario. And the registration scenario. And at step one, the, the user starts the app. At step two, the program displays the main login screen. Step three, the user enters information choosing to register. At step four, the program displays the registration screen register screen at step five the user enters information he enters a password and a phone number but he's missing a number on the phone number at step six he issues an alert on the, the program issues an alert on the login screen request to enter a valid phone number uh, at step seven the user enters information the phone number is valid but now the passwords are mismatched step eight the program issues another alert another alert for that at step nine, the user enters matching passwords. Step 10, the program um, displays confirmation, yes or no, to register. The user at 11 enters yes. The program at 13 displays the taste screen. And we go through the rest of the scenario the same way we did previously on the login screen. And then it, the program at step 17 displays the main screen. All right, main scenario. Again, I did not put in errors for this one simply because it would have taken two hours to go through a whole bunch of the possibility of errors. I just wanted, I added this so that you could see the workflow. So, uh, step one, he starts the app. Step two, displays the main screen login. Step three, the user, sorry, um, the user at step three enters, enters login. Uh, his login information. At step four, the program displays the main screen, and so this is where we really start on the main on the main scenario. Uh, at step five, the user creates a group. 
step six, the program confirms a group created. At step seven, the, the program displays the invite screen. Eight, and step eight, the user uh, invites a user, invitation A. At step nine, the program asks to send the invite to the new invitee. At step 10, the user confirms to send invite. At 11, the program sends the invite via another scenario that we aren't talking about today. At step 12, the program asks if they want to add another invite. At step 13, the user confirms he wants to add, or he or she confirms they want to add another invite. At step 14, the program displays the invite screen. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, we repeat the process. At step 20, um, the user rejects to send another invite. And at step, it says 11, I'm sorry, I made a mistake there, but at step uh, 21, the program then sends the remaining invite out. And then at, at step, well, 21, I skipped, messed up on the numbering. Uh, at 21, uh, the program displays the main screen. At step 22, the user displays, uh, the user chooses to start a vote. At step 23, the user enters their own vote as they are the admin. Uh, at step 24, the program displays the current vote choices, which will only be the admin's choice because we haven't, you'll see. Step 25, the program sends a uh, push notification for voting starting. At step 26, the administrator ends the voting. And then at step 27, all the votes are gathered up and displayed. <laughs> at 28, uh, push voting results is done by the program to all the users. At step 29, uh, the user initiates exit from the app. And then step 30, the app is closed. And that sums it up. The main scenario will get really crazy really fast it'll probably be need, need to be modularized to, uh so the voting will be a scenario have its own scenarios and the ad, uh creating a group will be its own scenarios and adding invites will be its own scenarios etc but that's how our app works and just a couple three of the scenarios that um a scenario examples that could happen within our workflow of our app. And that's it. Thank you very much.